Now I don't want to waste your time, there's no way I'm getting this, so if you continue to watch this video, that's on you. Let's get started. Hi everyone, welcome to 1-6 Figure Focus and in this video we're going to take a look at the Hot Toys 1-6 scale Silver Centurion die-cast USB powered Iron Man. Uh, what's that, the Mark, what is that, is it the Mark 33? X, 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 and looks like three. It looks like the Mark 33. Let me know if I'm wrong in the comment section down below. Um, initial thoughts, just looking at this. I like the combination of the red and the silver. I like the fact that it's USB powered. Hopefully the lights, the chest, and the hands actually light up. I like the interior parts, and it's the internal parts of this as well, and the way they light up. Um, that's not the best angle of the Robert pardon, Downing Jr. head sculpt. Um, overall... I'm not into these blade parts. I don't know what it is. I'm just not into them. I think for, it's a very primitive looking weapons for an Iron Man. I mean, it was cool in Robocop when he did it, but the Iron Man suits are far more advanced than Robocop, let's be real. Okay, so I just think that was a strange design choice in general, but look, that is screen accurate, I believe. I like all the internal circuitry and the blue. That is pretty cool. There's not a hope in hell I'm going to buy this. Uh, I think that looks funny. He looks a bit stay puffed there. Very impressed by the circuitry though on the inside and the way that lights up. I'm assuming it lights up anyway. Like that is pretty damn cool, I gotta say. I gotta say. Yeah. This guy probably just looks bigger because the parts haven't actually completely folded around them yet. Um, this is, yeah, from Iron Man 3. So this is one of the members of the House Party Protocol that had very, very little screen time. I mean... This, like, the Disney 100 Iron Man was announced today. And, like, what the two of these have in common is that I can think of about 10 Iron Man that I don't have currently, that I don't have on pre-order, that I'm not going to pre-order, that I'd rather have before these. But Iron Man is their cash cow, and this is one for the diehard Iron Man fans or completionists, I think, and... I haven't really seen anyone in the community who's dying to get this, but look, they're making them, they sell well in Asia, and um, yeah, people will pick this up. Like I said, there's these diehard Iron Man completionists. I don't know how much this costs. I'm thinking, is this 405 or something like that? All right, so we'll just check it out. Silver Centurion, how do you Centurion? How am I spelling that? I hope I've got that spelled right. 485, no, thank you, not happening. No, it doesn't look great there. Whatever kind of way weird pose they have it in there. Yeah, I I just don't get it to be honest. Um, just definitely not for me. I've tried to be as positive as I can with it, but all in all, like Iron Man three, the weakest Iron Man I believe in my opinion. I know a lot of people, a lot of people, a lot of people give Iron Man two a lot of stick, but one's the best. We all know that. And then I see people toss up between two and three. I think two is better than three. You just yeah, it just wasn't for me, to be honest, like, so, all in all, no, I don't have any interest in this, I think for what it is, it's overpriced, and I can think of about a dozen Iron Man that I would rather get before this, personally, yeah, sorry to be a Debbie Downer, that's the end of this video, if you want to support the channel, like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, and you can also follow me on Instagram and on Twitter, that's it, that's the end of the video, see you in the next one, good luck. <laughs>